You want to pay attention to those robots starting in the center of their alliance area. So those are the ones that will probably move forward and then balance at the end of the time on top of their charge station. 868 able to successfully do that, getting lots of points for their alliance. 4272 just shy, but both of their alliance partners were able to exit the area, getting those movement points only available during the autonomous period. As we move into the teleoperative period, the students have picked up the controllers that their teams built this past season. 46-17, already going for additional game pieces through their player station. A lot able to, it's a lot easier to pick up some game pieces off the ground, but most teams prefer to get it from that human player, allow it to more precisely place it into their movement mechanism. Team X68 just dropping their cone, but they have plenty of time remaining in the match to pick it back up and maneuver around the field. 4272, that's Maverick Robotics, quickly and nimbly moving around the field, ready to grab a cone from their human player. 100 seconds remaining in the match. Remember, only currently one game piece can be scored in each node. That can change if we get a saturated cell where everything's filled, but not quite useful as of yet. Scores 42 to 38 with 35, 85 seconds remaining in the match. 292, that's Panther Tech's robot Sergeant Joe attempting to place a cone on the top part of their grid area, scoring five points for their alliance if they were successful, and it appears they were. Remember, the name of the game this year is Lynx. Blue Lions currently having one Link, now two. They'll need three more if that threshold doesn't get lowered by cooperation. The Tech Hounds nimbly placing a cone onto the top part of the grid. They will potentially need those points later in the match. 50 seconds remaining. 1646, that's Precision Guestworks and 4272. Nimbly moving together across the field, and now a little stuck. Extrovert communication between drive coaches is very important for these intense matches. 868 lining up in the center of the field, potentially grabbing that cone that's on its side, using their ground-based mechanism to bring that up. Red Alliance now with an additional link. 30 seconds remaining. The blue line's just one link shy of that extra ranking point. They'll maybe consider spending extra time since they're so far ahead, but we'll have to see what their strategy ends up being. 868 attempting to place another cone on the top part of their grid. 14 seconds remaining, not much time. Blue Alliance already getting three robots, potentially in a balanced configuration. Lots of points for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance hoping to match them with a few seconds remaining. Dwindling down the time. That was the end of qualification match 25. This should be pretty tight, so we'll have to see how the scores total up. A tight match, qualification 25. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. With a score of 123, lots of points in the grid and charge station, moving all the Blue Alliance opponents into picking positions except for 1646, who will sit tight. Only two more matches to find those rankings in today's event.